Captain, there seems to be a ship. A ship, you say? Well then, we better make haste for it. But it seems as if the ship. Yes. It's just a little rowboat. Then why do you call it to attention? It appears if there's someone unconscious inside. Well then, you'd best let them in. Ooh. Well then, get the poor fellow under light into the ship. <laughs> Let's see where we are this time. Ah, pirate ship. Well, that's wonderful. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir, but which pirate ship is this? This is the ship of the great Captain Quiver. Captain Quiver. It's a most unusual name. Ah, do you not know that if you're on the ship? You're a stowaway, aren't you? Well, Captain, we've got a stowaway on board. Really? Well then, send him up. Off you go. Right then. <clears throat> so you're the stowaway I've heard about. Yes, I am. Would you like a jelly baby? No. Right then. <clears throat> Now then, I appear to be on your ship. My own ship has kind of stranded me here. Um, well, not really stranded, but it's taken me here for a reason. Are there any problems on board? Well, now that you mention it, ooh, what is it? Every night. A horde of skeletons shows up. We don't know why, we don't know where they come from. They just come, take away one of our men, and then leave. Ooh. Well, that is most intriguing. Oh, I estimate it's about... Oh, ten minutes till sundown, right? Yes, it is. We dread every day for fear that we will be the next to be taken away. Oh, that was good poetry. Thank you. <clears throat> it's a hobby. Really? A pirate doing poetry? Hmm. Well, you never know. I was a pirate that used to knit. Did you know? Well then. Stow away. I'd suggest you get off the ship before you get taken if you know what's best for you. No. Are the guards to stay? <clears throat> now then. Let's see these skeletons, you said. <sighs> no, it has fallen. Yes, it has. Which means that the worst is to come. Yes, regrettably it does. Click, click. <sighs> No! You can't do this. Now then, Mr. Skeleton. Why are you here? We must serve her forever. Serve who? The supreme ruler of the universe. 
The woman who defeated the doctor once and for all. Oh, well. <clears throat> I'm afraid that that person does not exist because I am right here and I am the doctor. Which means that you best leave this bow right now. No, you cannot be the doctor. The doctor is dead. Ooh, well. Three times, perhaps, but not a fourth. Well, yeah. No, you will die. Really, no. Ooh, now that is most interesting. Most interesting indeed. Because... I believe you made an error. <clears throat> the doctor is very much alive. <coughs> that, that was most interesting. And you say these come every night. Yes, they do. <clears throat> As a ship's captain. Well. The most stressful indeed. Yes, of course it is. <clears throat> I would expect so much of anyone. Has anything unusual occurred on the ship that could cause this? No, although a stowaway did show up a few days ago. Oh, stowaway. The plot thickens. Now then, you will find in the hold that you'll see a blue box. Y now then. <clears throat> I need you to take her to the blue box, blindfold yourself, put her, so put her in inside it, and then step out and then you can take off your blindfold. Very well then. As you wish. What is your name though? Just call me the doctor. Alright then, doctor. As you wish. Oh, you seem to be awake now. W where am I? Welcome to the TARDIS. Tardis? What's what's that? Oh, it's my home. <clears throat> it's a machine that can travel in space and time. Space and time? Wait. What do you say your name was? The Doctor. <laughs> the Doctor. It's odd. You don't look anything like him. Ooh, well... I changed faces a few times. But your voice is different too. Well, <clears throat> I've changed every cell in my body a few times. <laughs> now then, I believe that there is some connection between you and the skeletons that showed up inside that pirate ship. But why, why would you think that? I only just, or after I was on it, I was on a space station and then... Then what? <sighs> no, no, that can't be right. That can't be right. That's impossible. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Doctor, I can assure you there is absolutely no relationship between me and those skeletons. Oh, well. Let me just scan you. There. That'll stop them from being able to track your location, teleporting based on your location. Which is what I was suspect they were doing. Really? Anything that'll work? We'll have to work. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> but I'm afraid this is the end of the line for you, Doctor. What do you mean? I am. <laughs> ah, they call me the Chancellor, and I have finally merged into my main for my main regeneration, <laughs> if you will. Ooh, you're a Time Lord. Yes. No. Well, it's more than that. I am the destroyer of the final time, Lord. <laughs> it 
Give me your screwdriver, Doctor. No. I'll get it from you myself. Now then. It's time to kill you once and for all, Doctor. What do you mean? Where are we going? <laughs> That's for you to find out once I've done what I must do. I'm afraid this really is the end for you, Doctor. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> and now your body crumbles into mere dust. And I Chromo powerful as another incarnation of the doctor is killed. <laughs> now then. Uh, only a handful more to kill. <laughs> and then my plan will be complete once and for all. <laughs> the doctor is in. 